a bad problem that seems to be getting worse, and that's forcing city officials to get creative as they try to hit brakes on street racing. Thanks for joining us for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner. Street racing continues to plague many neighborhoods of Tucson's far east side. Efforts to stop it so far have failed, which has Tucson leaders considering something new, photo enforcement to go along with police enforcement. 13 News reporter Bud Foster is live at City Hall with more on how this might work. Hi, Bud. Uh, hi, Brooke. Uh, well, first of all, Brooke, we have to say that the cameras are not in use. Uh, we don't know whether they will ever go in use. This is only in the talking stage right now. As a matter of fact, the city is not even sure 100 percent that it is legal to use the cameras in this way. However, they do know that the problem is bad enough. It is severe enough that it at least warrants a conversation. And it is racing. It is noise, but really it's safety issues. We're hearing um, gunshots, we're, we're seeing accidents happen. Which means street racing is a multifaceted and multi-layered problem. When hundreds of people get together to show off their cars and their speed, lots of bad things can happen. And that's not always the racers who get hurt. And it's really concerning to people who actually need to be out on the roads for uh, normal business for themselves and their families. And it's especially concerning for residents in Ward 4 on the Far East Side, where Houghton Road, Harrison, Valencia, all have many wide open, straight, isolated stretches of roads which just invite street racers. And thus far, they've been able to get around police efforts to stop it. And as soon as we do something, uh, folks adapt to what we're doing. So I don't know what the, the single thing might be. I think it's going to be multiple um, things that we pull together as a solution. But what I'm hoping to do is just kind of experiment. One of those experiments might be cameras. No racing photo enforcement zones. Something other cities with the same issue have begun to experiment with. Taking an area which has a high propensity for street racing and setting up cameras along with the police presence. But with motorist animosity towards cameras, speed or otherwise, they voted them down in 2015, it could be problematic. So my goal for this week, uh, for next week on Tuesday, is to talk with TPD, talk with the city attorney, with the mayor and council, to see what options we can actually experiment with and start to do that. Lee held a town hall last week on the street racing issue with Tucson police and many residents on the Far East side who have complained that the issue has become overwhelming for them. It's really awful and really dangerous and really scary and I would love to see it stop. Whether street cameras can help stop it is only an idea right now. Whether it can garner city support is also unknown. But according to Lee, that's why she wants to talk about it, looking for ideas and suggestions because it's definitely a community issue. It's not anything that TPD can solve alone. Um, we need all hands on deck to, to address this. Yeah, so the city's going to be watch, uh, watching what's happening in other communities very, very closely. The city of Seattle adopted this in July, so it's just a beginning phase there. But some other cities have adopted a program where they install cameras which are triggered by sound, like the revving of several car engines. Downtown, that city hall on Bud Foster, 13 News. Hmm. All right, Bud, thank you. Tucson police are busy with multiple homicides.